So the big question, should you be transferring your help to buy ISA into a lifetime ISA? I'm Martin Lewis from MoneySavingExpert.com and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to try and blitz you through the answer. First of all, we have to size up the competitors. Help to buy ISA versus lifetime ISA. The big advantage of the lifetime ISA, you can put up to £4,000 a year in it. You get 25% as a bonus on top if you're a first time buyer using it towards a mortgage. So, that means a maximum annual bonus of £1,000 here. The Help to Buy ISA works the same way, but you can only put £1,200 in in the first month and then £200 a month in after that. That means in year one, it's a maximum bonus of £850 and it's £600 a year maximum bonus after that. In other words, this is a grand, this is better, bigger limits. Next, the age. Well. You have to be aged between 18 and 40 to open a lifetime ISA. But as long as you're 16 and above, you can open a help to buy ISA. So if you've got a help to buy ISA, you need to check whether you're eligible for the lifetime ISA before you transfer it. If you're too young, so 16 or 17, or too old, 40 or above. Who would be 40? I can't even think anyone. OK, I can't get a lifetime ISA. Leave me alone already. I'm giving you the information. What do you want? Lifetime ISA more limited than help to buy ISA. Next, choice. Help to buy ISAs only cash savings, lifetime ISAs, cash and stocks and shares. So if you wanted to up the risk, you can do it in a lifetime ISA. Though if you do a first time buyer and you're going to use it for that, rather than its other function for retirement savings, you'd probably want to keep it more in savings because you'll be using the money quite soon. Next, another lifetime ISA winner coming here. With the help to buy ISA, the property has to be less than £250,000 apart from in London when it's £450,000. With the lifetime ISA, any property anywhere up to £450,000, you can use a lifetime ISA on it. So that's another winner. The next difference between the help to buy ISA and the lifetime ISA, the bonus for the help to buy ISA can only be used at completion of your property, effectively towards your mortgage deposit. The bonus on the lifetime ISA can be used at exchange, so you can use it on the deposit that the person you're buying the house off wants, and they normally want 10% at exchange, which is a little bit more flexible than the help to buy ISA. But you know what? For most people, what really counts is can I use it? And therefore, the big difference between the two of these is speed. With the help to buy ISA, as long as you've got 1,600 pounds in there, you can then use it towards your mortgage deposit and you will get the bonus. And you can do that as quickly as three months. With the lifetime ISA, you have to have it open for a year before you can get the bonus added towards your first time property. Now this is really important for people thinking of transferring the help to buy ISA over to the lifetime ISA. Because if you move your help to buy ISA money, you're then going to be locked in there for a year before you can buy your home, limiting your flexibility. Don't worry though, I have a solution for this. <laughs> right. So this is the best strategy for most people. On the 6th of April 2017, or a day or two after, put a pound in your lifetime ISA. It's now active. That clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, is ticking for that year countdown, even though you've only got a pound in there. And if you end up not using it, it doesn't matter. You can withdraw the pound and hey, it's only a pound anyway. Meanwhile, keep putting your money in the help to buy ISA. Then, if you need to use your help to buy ISA because there's a house you want to buy, you can use it and you can do it straight away. If you don't want to buy in the first year, towards the end of that first tax year, so I'm probably talking around March 2018, you can transfer your help to buy ISA money into your lifetime ISA. Now remember, you're only allowed to put £4,000 a year in the lifetime ISA. So here's how it works with the transfer. Any money you had contributed to the help to buy ISA before the lifetime ISA started, i.e. before the 6th of April 2017, doesn't count towards your £4,000. Any money you put in after the 6th of April 2017 does count towards that £4,000. So when you transfer the help to buy ISA across, you'll have had some money that was before that doesn't count, some money you've put in that eats up your £4,000 limit, but you're able to top it up, as long as you do it before the end of the first tax year, no problems at all. So then you get the best of both worlds. Now, it is worth noting, if you don't transfer your help to buy ISA in, in the first year of the lifetime ISA, you can't transfer it at all. So you really need to move the money across before you do that. 
But this way you get the best of both worlds. You've still got your help to buy ISA to use whenever you want in the first year of the lifetime ISA, but you don't give up your lifetime ISA allocation and you get that lifetime ISA clock ticking straight away so that as soon as you've moved the money across and we tick past the 6th of April 2018, all the money in your lifetime ISA would get the bonus towards your first time property. I do hope that makes sense. I know it's a little bit complicated, but hey, they make the rules. I'm just explaining them. Good luck to you.